Fitbit. Heart rate, 75. 75? Oh, hey everybody, welcome to Whiskey Whistle. I'm the host of the show, Mark, and you're watching Whiskey Review number 100. No, no, 201. <laughs> yes, we're going to be reviewing Cavalon. In fact, look at this uh, little setup I've got here. It's a uh, flippin' uh, barrage of Cavalon. I know I've used that before already. I'm going to run with it anyway. A barrage of Cavalon here. Uh, a cavalcade, a cavalcade of Cavalon. I think that's better. It's a cavalcade of Cavalon here on Whiskey Whistle. I uh, got this nice set in Japan when I went there this summer. And, um, well, we're going to review them one by one. And I'm not going to do it all in one day. I've only got one Cavalon gra uh, grass, Cavalon glass. Uh, so we're going to do one per week for the next six weeks. Sound good? I hope so. Uh, that way I can keep it fresh. We can mix it up. And I'm going to save a little bit of each so that we can have a... Uh, I can have a kind of like a roundup at the end. So we're going to get started with, um, well, the Cavalon X Bourbon Oak. Uh, this guy right here. Now for my, um, uh, what can I call you, my longtime subscribers or those new subscribers who have delved into the archives, you'll know that um, I guess it was probably one of my first 20 reviews was in fact uh, this one, Cavalon X Bourbon Oak. So uh, we're, we've come around full circle. This is also, um, oh this is the new version actually. I have the original over uh, in my other room there, where I hide hide my stash. It's not really well hidden, but uh, anyway, they've um, they've added the green label recently, so that's pretty uh, pretty cool, eh? Uh, so that's fifty four percent. So is this one. The whole set is high strength. These are not the single cask. Uh, I think what they do is they would take a uh, selection of um, available you know, parts of available cask. I guess that's the, what they would do. They would save a bit back from uh, their single cask bottlings and then they'll vat them together and adjust the uh, ABV to 54 for most of them. Although one of them, which is uh, this one over here, uh, that's the peated cask. That one's 50%. Interesting. So now let's get into the whiskey, shall we? Cavalon X Bourbon Oak. Crack that open. Oh yeah, 54 uh, percent, no color added, I believe, and uh, unchill filtered also. Let's get her poured. Here we are. Okay, need a little more than that, I think. There. So. Quite a nice aroma. Now, um, thinking back to my very first experience with Cavalon, uh, which was good, although I thought it was a kind of young, and this was also a uh, ex bourbon oak, as I mentioned, and I think that one was probably from um, 2015. I think was when it was bottled. So it might have been only, uh, let's say, who knows, maybe five years. This does smell more mature. However, I still do get a uh, fairly young, um, somewhat, uh, somewhat, well, what can I say? All right, I've watched that already. <clears throat> now, it smells much more mature than I recall. Uh, let's have a look at the color, first of all, of uh, the X bourbon oak from Cavalon. Pardon the rustle. All right, so there's the color for this one. It's also beyond gold. In fact, this reminds me of the color of um, uh, some of the last couple of reviews that I've done. Yes, beyond gold, 
Uh, we're getting into the brassy end of things here. And uh, looking at the legs, why not? Let's do that. Now, by the way, uh, destroyed my uh, favorite uh, uh, Glen Cairn glass um, for the 200th review. And uh, this is my second favorite. Um, now, have a look at the legs here. It's got quite long, drizzly legs. And even though this glass is also immaculate, uh, in its polishing, uh, it hangs on to the glass pretty well. Look at how slow and drizzly that is. Let me try and do that one more time for you, just so you can see the effect. Okay, that should be good. And label forward mark. Hmm, not quite the desired effect that I wanted to see. Let's try again. Okay, there we go. Look at those legs drizzle down. Slow and buttery. Now speaking of bourbon, this could pass for bourbon just from the color. So that really uh, got quite, quite the color out of that oak. And these are apparently hand-selected barrels. Okay, well, let's get on to the nose, and before that, we'll have a very short word from the YouTube sponsors right here. Welcome back, Cavalon X Bourbon Oak. Yeah, much more mature than I recall. At very at the very first, when you first pour it, you get this initial rush of a little bit of a spirit uh, sort of a scent, but that's well dissipated now. What does this smell like? On the one hand, it smells kind of like wild turkey. And it also smells like the antique bourbon that, uh, that I tried, the brand name Antique. Well, I can't really say, I mean, the bourbon could not have that much of an influence. You're not going to be smelling rye content, but if I had to hazard to guess, I would say that, uh, that this is a, is it a high rye? I think it's a high rye, high rye bourbon. There's this little bit of a mintiness to it. Now, coconuts were mentioned in the uh, tasting notes online. I'm going to go with uh, the coconut, including the shell. It has that kind of a dusty, tropical sort of a scent about it. Hmm. What else am I getting here? A little bit of a nice rum as a scent. Some buttered toffee. Some um, coffee. Mm, what do you call those? Like a coffee type of Werther's hard candy, those butter, um, hard butter candies, but a coffee variety. A good amount of ginger, a little bit of cinnamon.
a little bit of just baked white cake. Nice. Well, let's give it a try neat and then we'll get on to this also with a bit of water. So, cheers everyone. Cheers to Kabbalan. Hmm. Comes in sweet. And then it goes out so dry, exceedingly dry. My goodness. This tastes very different from what I recall. Um, much more mature, as I said, a lot more sweetness, much more approachable altogether. That, uh, that dryness is 54% and it's tasting more like it's um, in the 60s. Age-wise, I would guess this would be seven years old, plus or minus. That seems to be the age of the solists for the most part. Not only is it spicy, it's also just super dry. <clears throat> A little bit hot as well. Um, probably would do better with a couple more years in the wood, my opinion. I'm allowed to have that. I know there are a lot of fans of Catalan. I'm a fan of Catalan as well. <clears throat> really cleared my throat. My sinuses too. Uh, the finish, a little bit of um, buttered cornbread, um, a salted butter cornbread, salted buttered cornbread, salty buttered, anyway, you get the idea. What else? Let's try a little bit more. Not that long of a finish. Well, that's interesting. This time it's a bit longer. We'll call it medium. And um, ginger, cinnamon, some uh, light brown sugar. A little bit of um, a little bit of crisp green apple, uh, like the Granny Smith. Hmm. Give it one more little taste here. Well, it's very bourbon-esque, in fact. A little bit oily at the finish. That's nice, too. Hmm. All right, let's add some water now. 54%. I've got 20 milliliters. That's 1.2 per. So I think we'll add two to start. Ten point eight out of twenty two, so now it's fifty percent. That's not much of a difference. Should probably add more, but we'll start like this for now. Nope, need more.
there. So I've added, I will get this done tonight. All right, so I've added about five milliliters of water uh, to 20, so 25 milliliters now. And we've got 10.8, <clears throat> pardon me, roughly 10.8 milliliters of alcohol. So we'll call it 11, so 11 out of 25. So that's gonna be 22 out of 50. So we're on about 44%. I think that's probably good drinking strength. I could probably add one more spoonful and take it down another little bit, but we'll leave it like uh, like this for now. Oh, much sweeter now. Oh, so sweet. A little bit floral. Like um, freesia. Mm, I think I'm going in the right direction here. I'm going to bite the bullet and add there. <clears throat> All right, so now we're at 11 out of 26. Which is 5.4 out of 13 times 3 is 16.2 out of 39, we'll call that 40. <clears throat> yeah, about 41%. All right, let's get this mixed up. Mm-hmm, the florals. A sweeter cinnamon now, more like a cinnamon candy, or cinnamon bun would be a good description. One of those sticky ones with lots of butter, aren't those good? Something kind of like Like sweet tarts, uh, the candy. I believe that's Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka meaning the uh, name of the candy manufacturer that make gobstoppers and mm, etc. You know, if you. If you plunk this on a table in um, Missouri or in Kentucky, some people might think that this were a bourbon. A high malt bourbon. Has anybody ever made that before? Boy, they should. They've got high rye bourbons. Why not high malt bourbon? <clears throat> fruits again apple seems to be a good descriptor here for fruits and again still a fresh apple no longer granny smith more like the um, macintosh or uh, just a nice juicy red apple skins and all <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, we're going to try the palette of the ex bourbon oak from Cavalon uh, with water. Mm hmm. Yeah, very apple-y with some nice um, green grapes thrown in there. A little bit minty as well. So this, I don't know, I wonder. I'd love to know if this were a uh, high rye bourbon.
All right, a little taste. I think that's the perfect drinking strength for me for this uh, from Cavalin, in fact. 40% uh, plus or minus. Hmm. And again, something kind of like an agave syrup. Um, again, with apples being fresh, apples being very prominent here. Uh, not cooked, not stewed, fresh, straight fresh apples, including the skins, with a little bit of um, that agave syrup added. With those Thompson seedless grapes. And uh, the finish with water, interestingly, seems to hang around a little bit longer. I'm still going to go with medium. Um, it finishes off quite dry, so my mouth is very dry right now. This is really a dry style of whiskey. A um, little bit of that mintiness is still left in my mouth too, so that's very refreshing hint of apple, apple mint. Hmm, good. So uh, that's the first of the series and um, let's get on to the Whiskey with a Whiskey score for this one. First we'll have a very short word from the YouTube sponsors right here. All right, welcome back. The Whiskey with a Whiskey score for Kavalin X Bourbon Oak. Uh, that's this guy right here from the set that I bought in Japan, the gift set. Uh, by the way, this was bottled uh, 2016, March 25th, so about a year and a half ago. I noticed that a lot of online retailers are sold out of these, so good job with that uh, to Kavalan. Uh, Kavalan, pardon me. Uh, all right, so the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Kavalan X Bourbon Oak is going to be 85 out of 100. That is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Kavalan ex bourbon oak all right everyone stay tuned for the next one don't forget to subscribe that's a, a nice way for you to help me hit that subscription button right over here it says click to subscribe uh, you can see that right there click on that one get subscribed stay tuned for the rest and uh, don't forget about my Facebook account Twitter Instagram at whiskey whistle you can find me we'll see you next time So this is how it looks, beautiful, um, very colorful. Uh, it's got a magnetic closure, so it closes by magnet. And check this out. Isn't that awesome, hey? Eh? Uh, it's upside down. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs>